Hey Campus Collective, my name is Grace and I'm one of the student leaders here. And today I'm bringing you your Motivational Monday from Romans 10 verses 8 through 10. On the contrary, what does it say? The message is near you, in your mouth and in your heart. This is the message of faith that we proclaim. If you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. One who believes with the heart resulting in righteousness, and one confesses with the mouth, resulting in salvation. And the context of this passage is Paul is talking about Israel. He's been saying that they've missed the point. They've been trying to do everything out of their own strength, trying to follow the law, which God gave them, to try to, to, to point to them that their sin was wrong and to show them that they were sinning. And so they've been trying to follow all the rules God set before them. And Paul is saying, guys, You've missed the point. He said, it's all about faith. He said, this is the message of faith that we're proclaiming to you. All you have to do is confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and you will be saved. Your relationship that was broken by sin will be restored. And I find it fascinating because he, inter he references Deuteronomy 30, 14. And so I want to go back there and read that. But before we get there, I'm going to read verse 11 and then jump down to 14. This command that I give you today is certainly not too difficult or beyond your reach. In verse 14, but the message is very near you, in your mouth and in your heart, so that you may follow it. And I find it interesting that he refers to Deuteronomy. Now Deuteronomy is one of the books of the law. And even there he's saying, it is in your heart. That is where the law is. The law is written on your hearts. It's not a list of rules on tablets. It's not something you have to try to keep. It's in your heart. So Paul's saying the same thing. He's not saying, oh, well, since Jesus is here, it's now about faith and not what you do. He's saying it's been about faith from the beginning. So I would urge you, don't miss the point. It's not about what you do. Every good thing that you do is pointless. It's your faith that counts. So believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and you will be saved.